Hey there, and welcome to another great buy. This is one I nailed down yet another collection. A um, little bit of story behind it. Um, you know, doing the regular rounds of looking around and stuff. I uh, came across a guy who was selling 130 Xbox games and 20 GameCube games. And through negotiations, I eventually got him to $130 for the entire uh, package. Um, if you do any math, that's less than $2 a game. And I couldn't really pass it up, especially considering he was like five minutes down the road. Like, I just had to drive maybe a block, block or two south, and uh, I was at his place, and I was able to make arrangements to pick up the video games, um, like, literally the weekend that I had talked to him. So, couldn't pass it up, said I'd do it, and uh, I think it was on a Saturday, I went down to his place uh, to uh, make the exchange. When I got there, he said, um, basically the deal was that his son was um, either had moved out or was moving out or was off at college or something and wanted to get rid of these games, whether he had a son, whether he the son had agreed to give away the games, or whether this guy was just making this up to um, hide the fact that, you know, he had video games, considering he was probably about 60 years old. Um, I don't know, uh, but that's beside the point. When I got there, he said he had some more games. Um, they were Nintendo 64 games. And he said, I've got 10 of them here. If you want them, whatever you want to offer for them, I'll take them. And I only had an extra $10, so I said, I've got $10. How's that? And he said, Okay, so I basically got a bunch of Nintendo 64 games for a dollar a piece. Now, let's start off with those um, and get those out of the way simply because they were the, you know, little add-on to this. So, first up is NBA Jam 2000. Wetrix. FIFA 98. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, and NHL Breakaway 98. Now I've tested all the N64 games, and as far as I can tell, they all work. Uh, my N64 is having a little problems with the uh, first person controller, so it was a little hard to test. Uh, next is In the Zone 98, War Gods, GT64. Mission Impossible, and finally, Deadly Arts. So really, for a dollar each, I mean, that was awesome. Um, but let's move on to the uh, rest of the games. Um, start with the GameCube games. Uh, first one up is NHL Hits Pro. Uh, NFL Blitz 2002 doesn't have anything but the game inside, so not the greatest. I've tested all of these games as well and they all seem to work. Uh, NBA Live 2004, uh, Aggressive Inline, uh, NBA Courtside 2002, uh, NHL Hits 2002, you know, seeing a lot of sports games here, uh, FIFA Soccer 2002, Home Run King, NHL 2004, NHL 2005, NFL Blitz 2003, you'll notice a lot of these are also uh, uh, bought used, uh, Backyard Sports Baseball 2007, NHL 2003, NCAA Football 2003, NHL Hits 2003, Street Hoops, NBA 2K3, NBA Live 2005, NCAA Football 2004, the cover's a little faded on that one. 
NHL 2K3. And Madden 2004. Again, looks a little sun worn. Or light worn, whatever. Never know where it's at. But now, on to the Xbox titles. Uh, Tron 2.0 Killer App. Headhunter Redemption. Madden 06. Now you'll notice it's got some marker up here. I have actually not been able to get it off. Um, I don't know what kind of marker it is, but all the usual methods don't seem to be working. So if you have any uh, ideas out there, let me know and I'll try them. Or if I haven't tried them yet already. Uh, Shellshock Nam 67. This is Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, but only the game, no. Cover Stolen. Fusion Frenzy, again with the marker. Broken Sword, the Sleeping Dragon. Warpath. NHL 2K6 uh, Shadow Ops Red Mercury which is either damaged or dirty either way I couldn't get it to play properly and it came it actually had a bonus DVD I'm not sure how this was actually packaged because it came with a regular DVD case but I don't know I'll have to look into that um, what we got here Tom and Jerry in War of the Whiskers. World War II Combat Iwo Jima. Um, Grand Theft Auto 2, again, damaged or dirty, so it wouldn't play. Uh, Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30. Um, this is not only damaged or, or dirty, but it, the actual uh, cover for this is just taped onto the uh, the case. It doesn't have the plastic coating over top, so whatever. Um, Siberia. Blowout. Narc. Combat Elite World War II Paratroopers. You'll notice with these games, he has a lot more than just sports. So, uh, Viet Cong Purple Haze, uh, Terminator 3: Rise of the Machines. Again, uh, dirty or damaged or something that to the point where it wouldn't play. Um, hopefully, I can you know eventually fix that because some of those games I don't have yet. Uh, Rogue Ops, without warning. Commandos Strike Force, Alias, uh, James Cameron's Dark Angel, uh, NASCAR 07, again damaged or dirty to the point where it wouldn't play, uh, Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, Classified The Sentinel Crisis. Aeon Flux, uh, damaged or dirty to the point where it wouldn't play. Tenchu Return from Darkness. Another copy of Narc. Uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter, again with the marker on it. Uh, Headhunter Redemption, again with the marker on it. Uh, 007 Everything or Nothing. Ooh. Delta Force Black Hawk Down. Shamu's Deep Sea Adventures. Uh, Unreal 2 The Awakening. And what almost looks yeah, it's a blockbuster uh, case so it's not original casing uh, 
Uh, Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. Turok Evolution, again in another blockbuster case. 007 Nightfire, again in a blockbuster case. Uh, World War II Prisoner of War. Carve. Fusion Frenzy. I think there was another copy of that with the marker on it. The Burger King game Sneak King, followed up by Pocket Bike Racer and Big Bumpin, or Big Pimpin, if you saw my last video where I <laughs> mentioned that one. Um, State of Emergency. Red Ninja End of Honor. Soldier of Fortune 2 Double Helix. American Chopper 2 Full Throttle. 13 or XIII. And Catwoman, again with the marker at the top. So, not only was that. Uh, everything and not only was it uh, a really good purchase in terms of cost but I'd say 90% of that I didn't actually have yet so just in terms of a collection and collecting and get you know getting a full set of games uh, the Xbox like I've, I've been trying to do this year um, this was a great 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 um, find uh, so, yeah, I'll keep my eyes peeled. I don't have a lot of <laughs> uh, money left uh, for this year, uh, especially not with, uh, you know, Halloween and then Christmas coming up after this. But, uh, yeah, if I find anything else, I'll let you know, and you'll see it here. This is Rob for Mordaka 101.